All right, everybody, I'm down here at a riverbed in the forest. It is early in the morning, so it's not very bright. It's cloudy and a little bit rainy. This is a perfect opportunity to do a slow shutter speed manual exposure of moving water for a cool look. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to do it. It's gonna be really loud out there, so I'm just gonna record me doing it and I'll record the voiceover after hopefully it works. Let's go for it. Okay, so I've got the camera set up here on a tripod looking at the scene that I'm wanting to shoot. I've got the tripod in the water, which is okay. It's what you wanna do sometimes. I'm shooting at an ISO 100 because it's a cloudy day. I'm gonna be using a real slow shutter speed like I'm going to start with six seconds. That's probably too slow. With as fast as this water is moving, I probably could have done a half a second or even one second and been okay. But in this example, I wanted to go with an extreme just to kind of show you. And that's way overexposed, as you can see, way too bright. Not a problem. I'm going to solve that by raising my IS, excuse me, raising my f-stop to f22. I actually wanted to shoot at f22 anyways because I want that deeper depth of field. It comes from the higher f-stop, so six seconds at f22, and that looks still a little bright. It's pretty close, but it's still about a stop too bright, if you ask me. Well, my ISO is already as low as it can go, and my f-stop is already as high as it can go. The only way I can make this photo darker is by using a faster shutter speed. So I'm going to try about two and a half seconds here, which actually makes it for a little bit less exposure time, and I think that looks perfect. I love the exposure there. So one thing I want to do before I start shooting for real is go into my drive settings and I'm going to add a two second timer to my photos. And what that's going to do is make it so that when I press the shutter release, there will be a two second countdown and then it will take the photo. And that's going to help me because I don't have a cable release on me. It's going to help the camera kind of settle after I press the button. And that's hopefully will eliminate any camera shake that might have showed up in the photo. And there you go, guys. I really like this exposure and the lighting's not going to change because the sun's not out. So I'm just gonna keep shooting at two and a half seconds at F22 at ISO 100. Unless the sun comes out, I'm just gonna keep shooting around here and that should be a rock solid exposure.